Hi friends, welcome to the Modern Learning. In today's video, I'm going to summarize the lesson Light in the Night. So, let's get started. First of all, let's check out the historical description of the lesson. The lesson is a historical account which provides a glimpse about the history of rich nations. Along with it, it also provides a historical development in the field of science. It also provides information about London's street lamps. So, it's a descriptive account of advancement of science and technology. As all of us know that London is a major capital city, at night it glows brightly like most modern cities. Before the 1700s, London was much smaller than it is now. Before the installation of street lamps, people living in London would socialize under the moonlight or there would be darkness when there was no moon in the sky. If people wanted to go out at night, they would have to carry a burning torch or lamp or if they were rich enough, pay someone else to carry it. There were many link boys who would for a small fee hold a burning torch or lamp ahead of people so that they could see the way through the dark streets. By the early 1700s, busy cities like London and Paris had street lamps in some areas. Paris had street lamps before London. The first street lamps were actually light placed in the windows of houses. Police enforced a law that said every house had to have a lamp burning in the window all night long. If the lamp went out, people would have to get up to relight it or face being fined. Some people started to offer their services as lamp lighters. The government realized the benefits of street lamps. By the late 1700s, London had so many street lamps that the visitors to the city were amazed by them. The lamps were fueled by wax or oil that gave off an unpleasant smell. Many people were employed as lamp lighters because each lamp had to be lit by hand every evening. One German tourist visiting London in 1700 wrote in his diary, The lamps are so near each other that even on most ordinary and common nights, the city has the appearance of a festive illumination. The lamp lighters quickly became an important and valued part of the society. They had to keep the lights clean, make sure that the wicks were trimmed to the right lamp, light tens of the lamps in the evening and put them all out again in the morning. The lamp posts of London were designed with a bar sticking out on either side at the top so that the lamp lighter could safely rest his ladder on them. Many lamp lighters were pleased to be guardians in their communities. The gas lamps started to be used from 1805 onwards. The gas lamps changed the work of the lamp lighters as they were much quicker to light and didn't require lots of work, like the oil lamps such as changing the smelly oil and replacing and trimming wicks. An English writer, Charles Dickens, captured the feeling of a lamp lighter in his story the lamplighter. 
gas lamps were better than oil lamps in many ways. The big issue with them was that every now and again one would explode. Over time, gas lamps replaced oil lamps. With the invention of electricity, gas lamps were replaced by electric lamps which now dominate modern streets. Today there are still 1500 gas lamps in London. Five people are employed to operate them. They light them every evening and put them out every morning. These lights are carefully looked after because they are part of the city's history. So friends, this is all about the lesson Light in the Night. If you like the video, just give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you will be notified about my new videos. See ya!